Hey guys, welcome to another YouTube tutorial. Uh, so this one's going to be a little, little bit different. Um, so we're going to be doing a bit of cleaning up and uh, we're going to do our camera smoothing in the same tutorial as well. So we're going to clean up the project and get it ready. And at the end of this episode, I will be um, putting it together into a mega upload file. Um, so you guys can download it and continue from the next tutorial for those of you that have uh, lost your source code or just want to download the source. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, to start off, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to try, uh, we're going to fix a bug that I noticed after the last tutorial. Uh, so it's a sprinting bug. I noticed our analog, so if we have a look at vertical and horizontal speed, if I hit play, if I move forward and right, you can see our input kind of finds a middle point as opposed to just uh, saying forwards all the way down and right is all the way down. So we're going to change this to work like an analog stick. So if I push A and W, it says uh, verticals 1 and horizontal is 1, as opposed to 0 0.7 each. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up input and I'm going to open up our input actions. And I'm just going to go over to our movement and our WASD. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the mode from digital normalized to analog. I'm just going to go ahead and save asset. Once that saves, I'm just going to click on Jack and just make sure that um, that's all working. So what I'm expected to see is when I hold A, horizontal speed goes to our max walking speed. When I hold W, vertical speed goes to our max walking speed. And when I hold them both, they just stay the same. So I hold W, that's our max walking speed. I hold A, and there we go. See, it behaves a little differently now. It's actually hitting those max values. Um, and what, what that means is we can go back to our animator, our blend tree, and um, we had a second walking, a second walking forward. Okay, go back to the base layer, go to our normal movement blend tree, go inside our blend tree, and we'll just have a look here. As you can see, we have a second walking forward that we added in order to fix that. I'm just going to go ahead and remove that one now. So all we should have is walking forward, running forward, and sprinting forward. And of course the idle. Go ahead and hit play. I'm just going to make sure that that's still working. So we'll walk around forward and right. Yep. Cool. So that's all good. So moving on now, we're going to smooth the camera because <laughs> that's starting to really get to me. Uh, so I'm just going to minimize all these folders. Don't need any of those. And I'm going to go into our scripts here. And let's open up our camera controller. So first thing we're going to do here is we're going to create two new variables, one public, one private. So we're going to create a pi private, pirate, <laughs> private vector three. And this is going to hold our velocity because what we're going to do is we're going to smooth damp uh, the camera to, uh, to the target. So we'll go movement velocity. And then what we'll do here in follow player camera target, we're going to go ahead and instead of just straight setting the target, we're going to smooth damp. I'm just going to cut the value there. And we'll create a vector 3 dot smooth damp. Okay, so what we want to smooth damp is our transform dot position, and then our target will be our player controller dot camera target dot position, which is what we were originally just setting the value to. And then we need to reference our velocity. We'll just create a velocity reference there, and then the smooth time. So we're going to create our public float. We're going to call this move. I'll just give a default value of one. Movement smooth time. So I'll go ahead and pop that in there. Okay, so let's go ahead and just make sure our smooth damping is working. So I'm going to maximize on play and I'm going to hit play. All right, as you can see, it's probably a little bit um, too slow with keeping up with the with the player, <laughs> especially if you sprint. 
Okay, that gives a very weird viewing angle. So what we need to do is inside of our camera controller where we have our movement, movement smooth time here. Um, what we can do is we can just change that down. Well, let's just for now put 0 0.1, see what this looks like. We'll hit play. Okay, so that's a little better. You'll notice it when you let go of any inputs, the camera kind of makes itself back to the player. And if you compare it to from walking to sprinting, you see the camera gets a little bit further away from the player. And then when you stop, the camera kind of catches up. I'll just change this to running. Make sure that it's all okay. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it on 0 0.1 for now. Um, but what we're going to do now is we're going to go in and clean up some of our scripts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look where all of our public are. I'm going to create a header. So I'll do our camera controller first. I'm going to try add a header for every public variable uh, just to make it look nice in the, in the inspector. So we'll call this settings, seeing as we're putting in our references or our references. Uh, I think I spelled that right. Uh, fingers crossed. And um, there's another public here for Y gimbal. Uh, that's a reference, so we'll just leave it with that one. And then our movement smooth time. So I'll do a header. You can call it position setting. I'll just add the public below this header. All right. Let's just see what that looks like in the inspector. So we got reference and position settings. Okay, so settings isn't a reference. Uh, so I'm going to move that back down to position settings. And instead of position settings, we'll just call it settings. All right. Okay, that makes sense. That's all nice and clean. Let's add some regions. So we'll do an update region <clears throat> just to later on this uh, script might be getting a little bit too big. So it's nice to just region a few things out. And we'll have another region for position slash rotation. We'll just pop those two in there. All right, one script done. We'll move on to the next one. So we'll move on to player controller. We're going to be doing the same sort of thing here. So I'll look for the next public. Those are hidden in the inspector. This is private. So move on to our settings here. And we'll just call this settings. So whether we're in target mode and our settings, and then we move over to camera and then movement. So you see these, uh, luckily we've been going uh, doing it as we go along. Now what I will say is we don't need to see vertical and horizontal speed anymore. So I'm going to change those back to private. Uh, click save and let's see what that looks like. Okay, that looks uh, pretty clean to me. What I'm also going to be doing is I'm going to go through, make sure our default values are set to what we have here. So movement speed, offset, uh, if we can find it underneath movement, here it is. Okay, so it does have a default of one, that's fine. Smooth damp, we'll set that to a default 0.3F. Why I'm doing this is if we ever have to reset the script or put it on um, another uh, game object, we don't have to go through and play around and find the default values again. Okay, so I'm going to leave the models because uh, those are kind of unique, um, but I'm just going to do it inside the script. So I'll also do the camera controller. So I think the only one we can really set here is the movement smooth time. So instead of one, let's change that to 0 0.1. Okay, and if we have a look at our model script, this is all, this is all okay. We'll just leave that in this little region. And uh, we'll add some regions to our player controller script next. 
So I always put the awake in a region. And if I add a start, it goes in the same region. <laughs> okay, and then we'll have jumping. And then movement. Okay, inside, uh, underneath jumping, we'll also have sprinting. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we'll grab the sprinting functions and we'll just pop that inside the sprinting region. There we also have calculate sprint inside there. Okay, let me minimize these so you can see it. <laughs> okay, so inside the sprinting region, we have sprint, can sprint, and calculate sprint. And inside movement, we'll put our private void movement. And we'll also throw in our toggle walking. Then we'll create a region for our update. Okay. Just help us keep the script nice and clean. So if we ever come back, add into it or need to change something that's nice and easy. What we're also going to do is we're going to remove all the usings that we're not actually using. So in this case, we're not using unity engine.ui. We'll just check the other scripts quick. They all seem to be good. Okay. So you know, we only have three scripts on this project so far. Uh, there isn't actually that much to check over. Cool. So what we'll do now is we'll just quickly hit play and we'll just make sure that um, everything still works. We haven't broken anything. Um, Camera's a lot smoother now, which is good. Okay, so in our next tutorial, we're going to look at adding gravity um, and then move on to jumping. And then we'll also look into falling and landing. Um, so stay tuned for those. Um, thank you for watching this one and I will see you in the next one.